Hey guys, Pogo here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install uh, PHP on Windows. If you ever want to run some PHP scripts or PHP websites locally without having to upload it to a web server, um, this is how you can install PHP so that you can run it locally. If you're using an IDE like IntelliJ or PHP Storm, it will provide you with a web server, but you need to provide it with a PHP installation. So I'm going to show you how to install it and then how to configure it inside of uh, PHP Storm. Uh, Windows is not the operating system that I usually use. I'm a Mac person, so if I make any mistakes or it takes a while, then please excuse me for that. So we're going to go ahead and open up our web browser, and we're going to go to php.net. This is the official... Um, website of PHP. It has all of the downloads and the documentation. It is a very helpful website. If you ever want to know about a function in PHP, um, just look here. Um, it also hosts all the downloads for PHP, so that's what we're going to use. If you go ahead and take a look, you'll see here that Windows binaries for all of the PHP things, we don't really care about the source. We just want a binary so we can run it. And you can find them on windows.php.net slash download. So we're going to head over here, and you'll see that this gives us PHP 5.6.2, which is the latest version at the time of writing. And then we are going to go ahead and choose the... We're going to use x86, which is 32-bit. There is 64-bit down here, but it's currently experimental, so we're going to stay away from that right now. Um, and we do want the thread-safe version. We're going to choose the thread-safe version, and we want the zip package. So we're going to click on zip. So VC11 x86 thread-safe, and we want the zip package for that. So that's going to go ahead and download, and while that is downloading, we want to head over to our computer. We're going to go to the C drive, which is uh, you know, the root, and we're going to create a folder here um, that we'll call PHP. This is where we're going to put the PHP installation nice and easy right in the root of the drive. You can put it somewhere else if you want, but I'm going to put it here. So at this point, the PHP zip should be just about finished. We'll give that a second to finish up. And then all we're going to do is extract this into the PHP folder. So we're going to extract all files. And we're going to put it in computer, uh, C drive, PHP. And we're going to go hit extract. Now there is a lot of stuff in here um, in this binary. So we're going to let it extract everything. Seems like it's almost finished. Okay, so now it is extracted. You'll see I'm at the C drive, and now I'm at the PHP folder. So there are a ton of files in here, and this is basically all of PHP. So what we're going to do now is we're going to configure PHP. There are a couple of different things that we need to configure. Um, we need a file called php.ini, that's the configuration, and you'll see it provides us with these two files, php.ini development and php.ini production. We're going to go ahead and use the production one. So we're going to copy that, and then we're going to paste it, and we're going to rename this to be php.ini. So we're going to remove this dash production. And this is going to be our PHP configuration file. So if we go ahead and open it up in Notepad, I'm gonna I have Notepad here. Uh, Notepad plus plus is good. There are plenty of them. Um, we're gonna use Notepad because we're just editing a configuration file. So there are a couple of different things that we want to change here. Um, the first thing that we want to do is let's go ahead and find where it says display errors. That should be right down a little bit. Oh no, that this is just at the top explaining it. 
right here, display errors off. We're going to go ahead and turn this on. We want to see the errors in the page. If, you're, if you have like a website and you're hosting it online, you don't want your users to get PHP errors. But since we're just doing testing, we actually do want that to happen. The other thing that's important for us to change is the session path. So we're going to go ahead and find it says session dot save path. Okay. And let's find where it actually is right here. So we're going to go ahead. First of all, we're going to remove this semicolon. We're going to uncomment it. So now that's actually valid. And we're going to change this. We're going to go ahead and create a TMP folder right here. Now the, this is for saving the session information. So if you do use like, you know, login and register and you're using the session variable in PHP, it needs somewhere to save it. So now we're basically giving it a place to save. There are some other things like SMTP server and, you know, backwards compatibility with old PHP scripts, but we're not really going to worry about that too much. Okay. So now we are going to go ahead. We have this nice PHP folder all set up. Let's go ahead and open up uh, PHP Storm. I have PHP Storm. I have the demo version installed on Windows. And we'll go ahead and create a new project. We're going to call this sample. Um, and we're going to make it a PHP empty project. Now it's going to ask us for our interpreter. And we don't have one right now. So we're going to click the dot, dot, dot. And we're going to go to add, and we're going to say other local. We want to add a local PHP interpreter. We're going to go to the C drive, and we're going to pick PHP. Hit OK. It's checking. And you'll see that it now says PHP version 5.6.2. Before it said not installed, and it was red. Now it says 5.6.2. If I hit that info button, you'll see that it tells me all of this information about PHP, which means that it's obviously installed. This is the PHP info function, which tells you the version, loaded extensions, and then all the configuration options. So it clearly does work. Let's hit apply. Back here, this is version 5.6.2, so we can say that the language level is 5.6, and then we're going to hit OK. We will now, OK, I'm going to allow you access. OK, so now we have this open. Let's go ahead and just quickly make sure that this works. We're going to create the file, and we're going to call this index.php. Um, and then in here, we're just going to say, echo uh, hello we'll say hello windows and now we should be able to open this up in chrome and it says hello windows so there you go um, as you can see php is hosting a web server for us but the php interpreter was just installed so we installed it to the php folder on our c drive we configured it with um, PHP storm so it knows where to find PHP and now I echoed hello windows and when I went to view this page it does in fact say hello windows so that clearly means that PHP is working so that is how to install PHP on Windows just a really quick um, and easy way to install it uh, it's actually very easy to install it. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I'll see you guys soon with some more PHP. Bye for now.